So Ken Ham is a human being who believes that people pretty much stopped having good ideas about the time that the ink dried on Genesis. So he probably won't take it as an insult when I point out that Ken Ham has never had an original idea in his life. This is not the first Noah's Ark replica. It is not the biggest. Uh, Wikipedia lists 10, 15 if you count ones that they've torn down and ones that they haven't finished yet. And it's also not the first Christian theme park. I'm sure you guys all know about the uh, Holy Land experience down in Orlando. In case uh, you can't take your kids to Disney because Disney's too gay or the Little Mermaid's too black or whatever. You can take them over to the uh, Holy Land experience and you can watch Hippie Jesus in a live action snuff film. It's great. There's another one, though, actually much closer. Uh, you guys probably know about this. It's only a couple hundred miles south of here, the uh, Dollywood Amusement Park. Have you, uh, any of you guys ever heard of that one? Yep. Okay, that is a super Christian theme park. And let me tell you, I actually used to work there. So I can tell you from experience, that is a very Christian theme park. I get here through kind of a weird uh, path. I actually worked in the amusement park industry for almost a decade before I became an atheist activist. And I worked at Dollywood for a couple of summers. Uh, Dollywood, in case you're curious, has a, a church right there in case you want to take in Sunday services between roller coasters. They have the Gospel Music Hall of Fame. Let me tell you how Christian this place is. They have a policy at Dollywood that they can't sell any merchandise that has visible cleavage on it, which doesn't seem that weird until I remind you that this is the Dolly Parton-themed theme park, okay? <laughs> Or, no, okay, my favorite thing about Dollywood, and you guys probably will appreciate this, maybe you like to collect souvenirs when you go to different places. A lot of people like to collect shot glasses. So you can go to Dollywood, you can get a shot glass, but you won't find it listed as shot glasses. As shot glasses are for alcohol, and alcohol is of the devil. You'll find them listed as toothpick holders. Oh, no, really? <laughs> so, yeah, okay, so that's how Christian this theme park is. All over their employee handbooks, it says everything, you know, in keeping with good Christian values, etc. So... That forces us to ask the question, if there are already Noah's Ark replicas, and there are already Christian theme parks to take the kids to, why the hell do we need this one? Right. Now, you might be tempted to say, well, you know, Ken Ham isn't making any money off of those ones. He ain't making any money off of this one either, though. <laughs> so it can't be that. Perhaps Ken Ham was sitting around Williamstown, Kentucky one time, looking around and thought to himself, well, gee, hell, where will the children of Kentucky go to learn about Jesus? But I don't think that was the case either. I actually, I think I can tell you exactly why he opened this park. But to do that, i got to tell you a story about Dollywood. Uh, this happened, it was either 2010, 2011. I can't remember which, but it was one of the summers I was there. A woman attempted to go to the park uh, with her partner, and she was wearing a T-shirt that said something along the lines of, I support marriage equality. She was turned away. The ticket taker at Dollywood said, no, you cannot wear that T-shirt. That's too controversial. There are children here who might realize that there's such a thing as equality, I don't know. But they turned her away. Eventually, she negotiated. She said she'll go back to a car, turn her T-shirt inside out, and they said, okay, you can come in. That actually made national news. Some of you might remember it. It was a little blip on the radar, but it made national news. Hey, this, this park discriminated against a gay couple for wearing a T-shirt that said they supported gay marriage, right? And, of course, that was bad press. So the park came out and said, we're very sorry. Dolly Partner herself came out and said, we're very sorry. That's absolutely not our policy, yada, yada, yada. Let me tell you, as somebody who worked as an independent vendor there and didn't have to sign a non-disclosure agreement because of that, that damn sure was their policy. They were lying. Wow. But right about the same time, right about the same time that the most Christian theme park in all of America was coming out publicly and apologizing for discriminating against gay people, one Ken Ham started making noise about a theme park he wanted to make. If I'm not mistaken, those announced, that announcement came in the same summer. I would propose to you that the whole damn point was the bigotry. Yep. We've talked a little bit already about the prejudice. You guys know about their hiring practices here and everything. The point was the homophobia. The point was the bigotry. Ken Ham said, damn it, I want a Christian park that's so Christian that they don't feel the need to apologize for their prejudices. Again, there's no other reason to have the park. Everything else that it is already exists, is already there. What he didn't have was a park where everyone was pre-screened to make sure that they hated fags like God does. 
the, the park opened up. People started freaking out. Like, oh, my God, they're so discriminatory in their hiring practices. They make you sign a paper that says that you don't uh, they, 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 you don't support gay marriage and that you hate gay people, et cetera, et cetera. And I said, of course they did. That was the point. Yeah. That's why they opened the park. Yep. It's all part of this attempt to create some bubble, some dome that they can throw over their children so their children never have to realize that there are people that disagree with them. Their children never have to realize that gayness exists in the world or that other religions exist in the world or that anything that we represent, that evolution or science exists in the world. It's all part of this effort, the, the, the creationist theme park, the Christian movies that I have to watch every week, the Christian music <laughs> they listen to. It's all part of that same bubble. And you have to ask yourself, if you're keeping your kid in a bubble and you're so desperate to do it that you're willing to spend millions upon millions of dollars of taxpayer money to make it happen what the hell are you hiding them from well i'll tell you exactly what they're hiding uh, hiding them from they're hiding them from what they might have accidentally encountered at dollywood and we call that human decency they spend decades trying to get their kids all the way to adults without ever running into human decency. Guess what, guys? That's why we're here. They can try to hide right here, but guess what, guys? Right over the hill, here's some human decency for you. You can't hide for long. Thank you.